Good morning, Michelle Saxman here, and ready to share with you some time with Jesus Calling by Sarah Young on April the 30th. And y'all, this right here is talking about an external needs, or actually uh, what I'll say cultural basic needs, needs of time, needs of energy, needs of money, um, and this lacking. But I wanna take it just a step further. And this is in that lacking in a bigger realm of just not being enough. All of those phrases of not being enough, not being big enough, tall enough, smart enough, not being good enough in math, not being smart enough, not being quick enough, whatever it is that not enoughness that the culture preaches over each and every one of us and what that does to our belief system and then how that begins to impact our behaviors. And I'm gonna ask for just a moment just to not believe every thought that you have. And we can live from a place where we, we believe what the culture and the ego tells us. And we can also choose to live from what our heavenly father teaches and gives to us. And so I'm going to put down in the, in the comments down below the song You Say by Lauren Daigle. And that is something that I listened to on the train and it really resonated with me and what the culture says then I begin telling myself and then what my heavenly father, creator and savior says. And what would my life look like if I walked it out from his, the beliefs he plants within me versus the culture. So beliefs are a foundation of our behavior. We can live from the beliefs of the ego or we can live from the beliefs of the spirit. And I really appreciate, he says, come to me in an unashamed dependence. And y'all, if we don't have enough time or enough energy or enough money, doesn't that culture teach us to have shame? Shame on you. Shame on you for not managing your money well, or shame on you for not earning enough, or shame on you for not doing time management properly, or whatever it is. But if you've ever experienced, um, I don't know, I'll just say if life has been, ever been fleeting, it says health and wealth can disappear instantly, as can life itself. And I'll just say that, um, you know, that certainly happened to me in my car accident. I'm lucky to be alive. My skull has shifted. And when we joke and say your head's not screwed on straight, y'all legit, my head is not. The skull is shifted and um, have had brain surgery. That was three years ago in March. And I am lucky to be alive. And I don't have the energy that I once had. And I don't have the memory recall that I once had. And I don't have the endurance that I once had. But y'all, I am blessed to be alive and I have to believe the things that my heavenly father preaches and speaks over me and live from that place. But I have to believe what he says and not what the culture tells me. So I'm gonna go on to read to the two biblical path passages for today. James chapter one, verses two and three. Consider it pure joy, my brothers, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith develops perseverance. Y'all, that's probably one of my favorite biblical readings um, and how what perseverance begins to develop within each and every one of us. And then 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9. And he has said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for power is perfected in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, I will rather boast about my weaknesses so that the power of Christ may dwell within them. And again, um, inverse living, kingdom versus culture. The kingdom says, bring to me your weakness. Know your weakness, that level of self-awareness. Know it and then bring it to me. The culture says, hide your weaknesses. But consider it pure joy. Trials, tribulations, health and wellness are fleeting. Finances are fleeting. So being mindful that we don't rely on the external, but we rely, we rely on the powerful presence, his spirit within, come to him with unashamed dependence, co-create with our Savior. Y'all have a super blessed day. I hope that the words from Lauren Daigle's song, You Say, resonate with you. And I will post that down below in the very first comment. So y'all have a super blessed one. Stay connected to the vine. Protect your energy. Protect the crown. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.